Hello, folks, and let me start off by apologizing for the way I sound. I woke up a couple days ago with no voice, but it's coming back, so uh, everybody in our house is sick right now, so I don't know. We all got we all got it pretty good, but uh, I wanted to make this video because there's a program out that somebody just uploaded called Starnet, and it's a really cool routine for uh, actually removing stars from your pick. If you're interested in that kind of thing, I'm going to show you how to download it. And maybe you want to download it before it's gone. <laughs> and uh, it was created by Nikita Mizura. And uh, let's see, it's it's on Dropbox. And uh, uh, you can download it with this button here. And it's a zip file. Once you download it, you can just expand it to a folder you make on your hard drive. And then, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, you'll see uh, it, it, there's not many files in it and once you download it uh, let me show you uh, it worked for me if I used a 16-bit TIFF so this is my wizard nebula with uh, <coughs> fully loaded with stars and I'm gonna want to save it <coughs> excuse me as a 16-bit TIFF I'm not sure if it works with others but uh, it didn't work with 8-bit and it didn't work with 64 for me, but it worked with 16-bit. So I'm going to save it as 16-bit. This is, I'm in Pix inside, by the way. And, and then I'm going to have to go to the command prompt. And uh, let's see, I'm going to see if I can, I'm going to go to that folder. I already had it saved off here where, where it is, okay? With the change directory, if you're not familiar, familiar with DOS, it goes straight to that folder where you unzipped it to. And then you're going to want to run star net plus plus the name of my file, the wizard. <coughs> Excuse me. And output. And we'll let this run, and I'll be right back. It takes a little bit. Okay, it finished, so let's take a look at what the output looks like. Starless. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good, uh, you're off to a running start when you come up with something like that. What do you think? Yeah, you know, there's, there's some blemishes you can try and fix, maybe denoise it or sharpen however you do it. Like there's a one spot here, uh, you, maybe you can clone stamp that out, but uh, you'll hit the ground running with this program. I like it, and I've seen a lot of people starting to use this on Astrobit. So anyway, I just thought I'd let you know before uh, <laughs> that program disappears. And what else? Uh, oh, and if you saw some pip folders when I was in DOS, it's because I was trying to animate it. Uh, let me show you here. When you unzip it, you won't see all these pip folders, but I use pip to animate it between starless and star, the starred version and starless. Let me show you how that looks. Oh. Hey. Yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. It's purely an artistic toy, you know, if you want to play around with it. But uh, I hope you found this video useful, and I'm going to go back to bed. I'll see you guys later.